Hello everyone. Today I have my Cub Cadet XT1 with the 46 inch mower deck and it is fall and there's leaves outside so I ordered myself a bagging unit for the back of it uh, so I can mow around and pick up leaves. Uh, so I'm going to get this thing mounted up on the Cub. Uh, when we're done it should look something kind of like that. And uh, it's going to go back here somehow. So let's get this out of the box, uh, see what we're working with, and get it mounted up. All right, so let's see what we got here. Looks like a tube. It's got another tube. Sure, that connects to the mower deck. We've got that thing. Some kind of a screen deal. This looks like the top. And maybe some kind of a inlet. Get that out. There's some instructions. Maybe some hardware. Fasteners. Another layer here. This must be the actual bag that's, that's a heavy piece a couple more heavy pieces Bags. Settle. All right. Well, there's what came in the box. So I guess I'll read the instructions and stick it all on here somehow. So it looks like all four of these pieces go together, kind of something like this, and then this piece goes. In the top or bottom, it's supposed to look like that. So it's going to look something like this when it's mounted together. And actually, this is upside down. It's going to mount to the cub something like this. All right, so we got this bracket mounted back here on the cub. Tighten down these uh, wing nuts on the side, so now this is all pretty solid on there. And then it's got a little uh, pin that goes uh, down through here, and on the bottom there's a cotter pin that holds that on. And now the next thing is this vertical support bracket. Apparently that goes on one of these, they're A, B, C. Uh, the C is for the 46 inch deck. B is for a 42, then the A is, I think it's a 36. I've got the uh, 46, so this needs to go in line with C. So, yep, that looks good. So we'll put another carriage bolt and wing nut on that. And then uh, start building the, the uh, bagger assembly on top of that. So we got that vertical bracket mounted now, and then next is this big like bag holding bracket. And it goes on, uh, this side will be down, so it kind of goes like around this bracket. Try and get it within those guides, just like that. Then these holes should be lined up there. These bolts, washers, and nuts are going to uh, screw in to hold that on. So this is starting to come together pretty quickly now. So these bags uh, just sit in here, of course. Uh, so you can remove them easily to dump them. And to hold this bracket on, it's actually two of the carriage bolts, not the little uh, bolt that I showed earlier. We'll figure out where those go eventually, I guess. Um, then this bracket here, it just uh, clips into place over top of uh, this bar. And uh, this cover on the back, that's where our little uh, metal stick goes. 
basically just set this cover in place and then that stick slides through all the way and there's a little uh, tab right here that keeps the stick from sliding back out so that stays in place so now we've got this chute here that needs to go on the uh, the mower deck so we'll figure that out and we've got this tube that needs to connect that chute to this port on the bagging unit and we've got this ring that I am guessing it probably does something here I don't know we'll figure that out too well I figured out where those other uh, two bolts and nuts go and that is here on this chute to hold this little rod on all right so I got this uh, mounted in here you can see that a uh, little extra tab we installed uh, goes through a hole that's already in this little wheel bracket. And then it also goes over uh, an existing hole here. Uh, this nut and bolt was in the deck, so you got to take that nut and bolt out and slide this assembly into place there, and then put the nut and bolt back in. Uh, then from there, uh, we got this uh, this tube. Uh, so basically you uh, thread that into here, it's a, a left-handed thread, so you're kind of spinning it clockwise, and it's a really tight fit. I only got it to go in, you know, maybe an inch or so. Uh, then that other little uh, piece is like a cap that goes on this side of the hose, but then this just slides over this, uh, this tube here. And that's basically it. I think that's everything. So we're going to wait until uh, tomorrow and uh, get this outside and see if I can pick up some leaves with it. Alright everyone, so it's the next day now. Uh, I'm going to get the cub fired up and see how well it does at uh, picking up leaves with this new bagging unit. So for that area that I just picked up, right here, not a huge area, but it almost filled my bags. And, you know, it looks like it's doing okay at mulching up the leaves, but a lot of them are still pretty big. That's not that large of an area for filling those bags up. So I'm going to go empty these bags, uh, then try something a little bit different. Um, one of my friends at work, we were talking about uh, how small the bags are, and he suggested that maybe if I left the bags off of the bag unit, so I go through and basically mow the yard and just let it dump all the trimmings behind, uh, I could mulch them up once by just dumping them and put the bags back on the back go back around and pick them up and it may fit a lot more leaves in there uh, which really would save me uh, potentially some trips to go and dump these. Alright so using that method I think it's a bit more efficient because uh, I'm getting more of this finer mulch stuff in here, but there's still quite a bit of the, the larger stuff. Um, I really filled the bags up this time. 
so I'm going to have to back rip to the curb to uh, empty these out. Uh, but I think that this is working okay. It's a lot easier than picking them up with a rake and tarps and all that. So I'm going to empty these bags and keep going at it. everyone well thanks for watching uh, as you can see the bags installed pretty easily uh, they pick up leaves fairly well I'm sure they pick up grass trimmings well too um, all in all pretty good set of bags so thanks for watching I'll see you next time